welcome back. I'm back here with three, uh, which reminds me, uh, actually five new Nina um, perfumes. Uh, Nina Ricci um, little apple perfumes. They are my favorite. I collect these and I've got five new ones for you today. So the first one that I am going to share with you, which I'm unboxing, um, and this was actually a tester, so um, I'm not sure if this is the original box, but the first one that I have is Nina in Rose, um, and I just love these little bottles. I think they are so cool. They go with the collection of other ones I have. So this one is a citrus white floral. Um, spray it, and again, it's cute little pink bottle. So it is very citrusy. So the notes on this one are lemon, bergamot, and pear. And then it dries down to an orange blossom, neroli, and jasmine. And then musk and cedar wood. Um, this is a great citrus perfume. I love citrus perfumes in the summer. And this one is beautiful. That orange blossom and jasmine really come through on it. Um, but the nice part is there's no lily of the valley or anything like that competing for that citrus. Um, you don't get a whole lot of the pear, uh, more of the jasmine, but um, that jasmine with that lemon is so fresh and so pretty. So this one is a beautiful springtime fragrance. So I really like this one. So this is Nina Rose. And then the next one I have comes in a very similar bottle. This is Nina Rogue. Um, so the bottle for this one... Looks like a red apple, but it has a bite out of it. And this is a sweet, caramely, fruity scent. And I actually haven't smelled these at all. Um, I bought them because of the bottles. Uh, but I will definitely wear the fragrances if they smell good. Um, so this one's supposed to be a sweet, caramel, fruity fragrance. And it's definitely sweet. Um, the notes are raspberry and citron. And you get that right off. Um, that's a really pretty pretty strong and then gardenia and ginger flower not just ginger but ginger flower which is a little bit softer than the ginger the harsh ginger and then caramel and vanilla bourbon let's let this dry down for a minute and see if we get some of the caramel and vanilla bourbon you guys collect bottles like this I love cute um, bottles I like these Nina ones and the um, Anna Sui and then I love the Lolita Lampico ones because they're little apple looking things too I love cute perfume bottles that makes the perfume so much better. So this does dry down to a little bit of a bourbon-y smell, um, but that citrus and the um, raspberry really outweigh that. It is a sweet, fruity fragrance. This one's fun. Um, this would be a great um, spring into the fall fragrance. Um, it's really, really good. So yeah, okay, excuse me a minute. My dog is making all sorts of weird noises. Thank you. All right, so the next one that I have for you is Les Gourmandes. Gourmand um, and this is another Nina perfume. So this one, I think, came with... Oh, the lid has just fallen off. Just a minute, guys. So it has sprinkles on it, or little polka dots, because it actually has sprinkles on the top. Isn't that just adorable? I love these bottles. I think they're so great. I'm so excited to have these. So let's see what the notes are for this one. So this is a sweet, fruity, coconutty um, fragrance um, with the top notes of lemon. So um, let me spray this one and we'll see. Um, I think that's just so cute. So you get the lemon, but it has pina colada and passion fruit in the middle. And boy, you smell those just right off the bat. And then praline, caramel, and gardenia. And the gardenia kind of anchors it a little bit. But man, you can smell the pina colada. Um, that's really kind of cool. Uh, this is perf first perfume I've smelled with actual pina colada note in it. Um, it smells pina colada-y, but not too beachy. Um, this would be like a good um, going out with a girlfriend's kind of scent a uh, fun flirty um this is this is a cool scent um 
I really like this one. And then that gardenia to anchor it all cut together is just really cool. This one's cool. Um, I don't know of any other perfumes off the top of my head that have pina colada in them um, that smell like it. So that was kind of fun. And then I have the Less Denite, the Less, De okay, I cannot say this. Less Delices de Nina. Um, and this one's really pretty too. Um, I love, love, love these bottles. So this one is a pink, a matte pink bottle. I don't know if you can tell that that's matte. Um, with the gold poured over the top. So this one is a sweet, fruity, um, citrusy fragrance as well. I think that's kind of a theme for today. And it starts off with lemon and mandarin, so we should smell that right at first. And you do. And then big strawberry, caramel, apple, and jasmine. And then the raspberry, praline, vanilla, and white musk. And you definitely get some musk in there. Um, as sweet as it is, you kind of get that smoothing musk um, to kind of anchor it. You get some of the apple. Uh, this one is a lot heavier than this one. So this would be more of a date night type fragrance, I think. It's, a, it's still fun and flirty, but that... Um, the citrus is a lot heavier. It pulls a lot heavier. It's a lot, lot deeper of a scent. Um, still fun. And that lemon just carries. I don't know if it's the lemon and the apple together that really makes it carry. But you've got that lemon, the apple, and the raspberry um, throughout the dry down. And it really makes this one very tart. So this is a very tart, fun fragrance. I like this one. So this is fun. And then the last one that I have for you today um, is one of the newer ones. This is the Nina Fleur. Um, let's see if I can get this one open. So this one is a really pretty little apple. Um, and I got the one out size of this one, but it has the flowers printed on it. So this one is a citrusy white floral fresh fragrance. So that's still citrusy, but um, we're into more fresh land rather than um, sweet and flirty. So let's see how this one does. I love that all of these are so similar, but so different at the same time. So this one has the Italian lemon and the Granny Smith apple off the top, but then you've got the orange blossom and neroli, and you can smell those really quickly into this, and then white musk and cedar. Um, so this is a simple fragrance, just a good, fresh fragrance. Um, a lot of orange blossom. Orange blossom musky type scent. Um, pretty, it's a pretty scent. Very spring-like. Um, I really like the spring, spring smell of this. It's clean and flirty. Um, good daytime, could wear to church, kind of. Fragrance, not offensive. This is a very, very pretty fragrance. Um, very, just a uh, sweet, innocent type smell. Um, it's not uh, flirty or anything like that. Just very soft and grounded. So that's a neat one. So that's all my Nina perfumes that I have for you guys today. So that's the five of them um, to add to my collection. I will be back with more of those. So anyways, do you guys have any of the Nina perfumes? Which one's your favorite? And do you get them just because of the smell or do you actually like the bottle? Um, so anyways, let me know in the comments. All right. Thanks guys. See you next time.